This demonstration shows the benefits of using Coriolis meters for entrained gas applications. First, I'll explain the flow stand and tell you about the main features. Underneath the cabinet, we have a tank of water and a pump which pushes liquid up into the liquid-only reference meter. Then we're able to add and train gas to the flow. And finally, we go through a test meter, which can be then compared back to the liquid-only reference meter to compare performance. The next step is to add some gas and see how the performance compares between the two meters. And now you can see that there's entrained gas flowing through the test meter, but not the liquid meter. As you can see, the mass flow rate of the mixture is very close to the mass flow rate of the liquid. The density of the mixture, however, is much lower than the density of the liquid. Entrained gas in applications is often an undesired part of the flow. Therefore, it is important to be able to detect when entrained gas is occurring so that you can take steps to mitigate the problem. Drive gain is a measurement of how much power is required to keep the tubes oscillating. In entrained gas applications, much more power is required to keep that oscillation. Therefore, drive gain becomes a very important diagnostic for detecting entrained gas. In a liquid-only application, drive gain is low and steady, maybe at around 5 to 12 percent, and steady for that application. But when gas is entrained, there is much more flow noise and damping on the flow tubes, and therefore drive gain usually goes up to 100 percent. That is a good way to detect and train gas in any application, and then you can take steps to avoid it in the future.